Welcome back. We are back on the air and we have got another game coming up for you. It is Team Ireland up against Team Germany. Yeah, I'm Lil Joker. I'm Valkyria from Karlsruhe. And we are starting in about three minutes, four minutes. Yeah, we've got about just over three minutes counting down to the start of this game. So, have you been enjoying what you've been seeing today? Definitely. I've seen some amazing derby, some really, really cool teams. I think it's got to be some of the fastest roller derby I've ever seen. Yes. In some of the jams, especially when we had the jammers coming out of the pack simultaneously, close up to each other, all of the teams had a tendency to really pick up the speed. Yeah, I mean, it, the... the, the um, Oh, which, which was the game? Oh, the the um, the, Jap the Japan game against Canada. Yes, that was a fast one. That was a fast game, and it showed the um, sportsmanship within roller derby because Ninja Japan, probably the least experienced team at the World Cup, coming over with I think it's like eight or nine skaters. Um, and Team Canada, very experienced skaters on track and were just really, really gentlemanly, to right, especially right towards the end of the end of the game. They knew they'd won the game. They didn't have to demoralize the jammers. So they, let, they were letting them get through and get a few more points. And there was lots of handshakes and high yes, fives from Team shakes, Canada at yeah. the end of each jam. Yeah. You know, it just shows the, the, the loveliness within this sport. They're all out to win, they're all out to We'll play the game, but there's there's something about this sport compared to other games. And the support uh, from the audience. Yeah. To mention. I mean, the crowd was deafening every time um, a player from Ninja Japan got out of the pack. The same with uh, Wales versus uh, the US. It was the oh, same. That the was crowd a crazy was going game. crazy and as soon as first. Wales got lead. Yeah. And when they scored two points, oh, two the points. hall was exploding. Picked up by uh, Roll Call, I believe. Yes, I think so. Uh, the first first two points in this World Cup to be scored against, against the you. almighty Team <laughs> USA. <laughs> so, um, we have about one minute left until the first whistle. Yeah. Um, I think we have uh, one win and one loss for Team Ireland now. Yep. And Team Germany hasn't won any of the two no, games by now? No, they haven't won any any games at the moment. Just counting down the seconds to get this game underway. Team Ireland had a very, very good game up against Team Australia. I've got a little shout out for the Hallam Hellcats and they're cheering for Team England. Uh, now we have the 30 seconds call. So we're getting ready to get back underway. All right. So on the jam line for Germany, we have Baltic. Baltic. I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna say Baltic. <laughs> <laughs> Baltic Bastard, who was actually at the Battle of the Beast uh, playing for Team Denmark. Ah. And for Ireland, we have Raven Buster, who gets out, picks up the lead jam, and the first lead jam going to Team Ireland. Team Germany being held in the pack, but breaks out, out of turn two. And first blood going to Team Ireland. And I managed to catch some of the game 
of uh, Team Ireland against Team Australia, and that was a very tight, tight game from that what I could see. A very tight game at right in the beginning. Um, Team Ireland managed to get a couple of power gems in the beginning, and uh, it was very close up until close to the end uh, when there were power gems for Team Australia. But play-wise, derby-wise, it was an amazing game. Very good matchup. We've got Lieutenant Dan for Team Ireland, but we have a Lee Jammo going to Team Germany. For East Sider, number yep. 69. Followed closely by Lieutenant Dan. And East Sider calls the game on the floor. So I have a takes one point as well. We have a go, go Team Island from the Southwest Angels of Terror. Some ladies were watching and cheering at home for Team Island. We have number 45, Ab Norman, on the jam line. And number four, Blood Red Kelly from Stuttgart. He is a former uh, inline hockey player. Yeah. I heard today. So Ab Norman trying to get through past JCDC. Stuck at the back of the pack. But fighting his way through the front. Yes, we have a lead jammer going to Germany. One German block on the way to the box. Um. Heavy hit there out of turn four. Followed by a penalty, as far as I could yeah. see. And that was... That was a penalty for JC. No. no, it was 3 0 No, he's I think it was 3 0 4 from Team Ireland. And we have the final score for Canada versus Scotland, which was 220 points for Canada and 18 points for Scotland. And again, 3 0 8. Parted Bastard for Germany. And lead German for Ireland. Is Electrix Avenue, who normally, normally plays uh, for South Wales. So Electrix Avenue getting through. Being sent for a forearm. Don't know if he picked up any points on that jam. We have a three on two pack situation. Advantage going to Team Germany. It's a Baltic getting out, and that will be a five-point pass Grand Slam. Okay, so the, we've, we've read out the final score for Canada and Scotland, but the point differential now that Canada has over 700 points. A plus of 700 points, Yeah, a plus of seven, yeah. That is amazing. So Team Cam doing well, and we have a cut track for Baltic going to the penalty box. Irish Gemma coming back on track. So, Electric Avenue back out on track. I've just been told that the winner of this plays the loser of the Belgium-Japan game, and the loser plays the winner of the Belgium-Japan game. Electric Avenue picking up a five-point pass. Full Grand Slam. Taking a little tumble. And jam is ended. Scores are currently 14. I think that's 21. 14 points for Germany and 21 for Ireland. And 40, number 42 on the jam line for Ireland, Lieutenant Dam. He's going to be starting on a power jam. <laughs> Lieutenant Dam trying to fight his way through. Germany four wall being bounced around at the back of the pack as they go into turn one. 
Just chasing DC at the front as they go into turn two. Breaks out, picks up that lead jammer. And back out of the track, on the track now, comes Baltic for Team Germany. Knocked to the outside. Lieutenant Dam hops on the inside line, gets through for a five-point pass. Baltic still being held in that pack. Fighting in the front, last block of going down, and Lieutenant Dam is again at the back of the pack and calls off the jam before Baltic can take any points. Next up jamming for Team Germany is Sider. And he's up against Abnorman for Team Ireland. We have a three to four blocker advantage to Team Germany. East side of trying to go for an outside line, gets knocked outside, and Abnorman gets through to pick up that lead jammer. And East side, I thought he got lead jammer, was trying to call it off. Didn't realize that Abnorman has that lead jammer status. Just Abnorman trying to fight his way through for a five point pass grand slam. Germany losing one of their blockers to the penalty box. And East Side are going to the penalty box, leaving Ireland with another power jam. And Ab Norman making short work into turn four for a grand slam. And another German blocker sent to the box, which leaves two defense players in a power jam. Ab Norman with another five point pass. Still a three to two block advantage and Ab Norman calls off the jam so they can start on a power jam. We're gonna talk about fast scale skates. Their knowledgeable staff represents all facets of roller derby, WFEDA, USARS, MRDA, JRDA, and Bank Track. They can relate and have what you need. Larger selection of skates and gear for everyone, women, men, juniors. It's all about you. And I'm sure they stock green monster roller sports products. I'm sure they'll have antic boots, reckless wheels, moto bearings, and gumball stoppers. And we have Lucha Mercedes for Team Island. East Sider standing in a box and entering the track now. And weaving through the pack. So East Sider breaking his initial pass now. And Team Ireland trying to get through to pick up some points. Jam is called off right in time, stopping East Sider from picking up any points. We have one jammer standing in that quads, quad skate shop penalty box. A blocker, not a jammer. Oh, is it a blocker? Sorry. It's a blocker. My eyes are going. It's a Coast Buster, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's Coast Buster from Hossa. Quad Skate Shop, one of the uh, main sponsors for, to, for the weekend's events. Sponsoring the other track. This penalty box having a booth here at the event. And Lieutenant Dams picking up four points, falling off the jam. 19 minutes remaining on the period clock. Baltic stepping up on the jam line for Team Germany. A 
And he's lining up against number 45, Ab Norman for Team Ireland. One of Team Ireland's blockers sitting in that penalty box. A three to four blocker advantage to Team Germany. Jammers have been released. Ab Norman trying to fight his way through, coming up a very against a very strong wall. Forcing him to the inside and recycling it back. Breaks through the wall. Now he's going for an outside line. Does he get through? Yes, he does. Gets out. Picks up a lead. Jammer for Ireland. Baltic coming around for a scoring pass. Ab Norman takes a look back. Calls off the jam to stop him from picking up any points. <laughs> East Sider now back on the jammer line. The team Germany. Up against Raven Buster for Team Ireland. And if I'm not completely wrong, Raven Buster is on the board of directors for the MRDA. Ah. So the MRDA is the Men's Roller Derby Association. And they would like to wish all the teams playing at today's World Cup the best of luck. The MRDA is the international governing body um, of men's flat track roller derby and wants you all uh, to join them in a growing world of men's roller derby. For more information about joining them and the benefits of being part of the MRDA, you can visit them at mensrollerderbyassociation.com or send inquiries to info at mensrollerderbyassociation.com. Next now, up on the Gemma line, we have the team captain of Germany, Jay Z from the Crash Test Grimmies. Yeah, this is his home home venue, so he should be more than comfortable on the floor. JC DC trying to find his way through that inside line. But out at the front goes Electrics Avenue, picking up Lee Jammer over JC DC. Electric Avenue coming to the back of the pack, trying to get round. Electric Avenue poured off the jam. Electric Avenue picking up two points on that pass. As you've probably heard already today, we are on Instagram and you can look us up on Instagram under MRDWC. You can share your photos of yourself enjoying the cup wherever you are and we might make it onto the screen. And we have lead jammer for Blood Red Kelly from Germany. At the moment following right behind the pack in the front is reorganizing. Germany trying to get the front and Blood Red Kelly calls it up. Looks like we have a Team Ireland skater down at the moment. So going to their aid is one of the other sponsors, GB EMS, who are a phenomenal emergency service. Oh, it's saying that um, the new board election, the new board of directors elections happened in January for the MRDA. So it's a recent Plus, the, the, the clock isn't going to stop for this. Not in these 30 minute games. Is it not? No, it's no. actually not going to stop this, right? Mm. Well, as you all know, as at any derby event, we have trained medical staff at the venue that are taking care of our injured skaters. Today, it is uh, the guys from GVMS, and um, they are 
the only UKRD endorsed medical team and providers of event medical cover and ambulance transport across the UK. And they all have their own skate names. If you look at the back of their, sh the back of their yes. green shirts, they yes, all have their own names. They're a, a, an amazing bunch of people. And uh, I know that one of them actually is uh, skating for, uh, refing for Croydon. Yes. Which I only heard by chance in the morning. So, have you been um, announcing any in any other languages this tournament? Um, I've been announcing the first game of uh, Germany today uh, in German, up against uh, Australia. Yeah. But, uh, well, so when we get this back game back underway, if you want to take it away in German for a jam. Um, well, I can at least try. <laughs> I don't know if the audience would enjoy it. <laughs> Could you jump in in any other language to cover a second jam after that? <laughs> I can't jump in any other language, so... <laughs> so, what are the languages that we have today? We had uh, Japanese, we had French, we had Spanish, and we had Dutch. Yes, we've had Dutch as yeah. well, yes. Uh, okay, so we've got, we're just being shown some of the scores from today's today's games. So, obviously, Finland playing Team USA was a bit of a, a blowout game with the score of 314 to 0 to Team USA. And then the first game was Argentina against Team England. Team England taking the win, 158 to 51. And we had Belgium, Canada. Um, Canada taking the win, 255 to 20. We've got the next game coming up is going to be Team Japan up against Belgium. And then after that one, we have Australia versus France. That's going to be a good game. I'm really looking forward to that one. That is going to be a be good game. Pretty exciting. So at the moment, this clock is still running down. Uh, we have 12 minutes, around about 12 minutes left on the clock. Um, a point differential, 40 points, 22 points for Germany, on 62 points for Ireland. And, uh, Yeah, Ireland, Australia, um, score finishing uh, 111 to 65, and that was that was a very very close game. I saw that with just 10 minutes remaining, um, and the scores were really really close. But obviously Aus Australia managed to bring it back. Did you know that um, uh, Team Ireland is actually some sort of a family affair? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have uh, we have the lineup manager uh, yeah. Zola Blood, yeah, um, who's uh, actually skating for Team Ireland. Well, the female Team Ireland as yeah. well, and um, she's married to uh, Errol Flynn, yeah. And uh, then uh, Mick Dossily is her brother. <laughs> That's a proper good family. Yes, <laughs> everyone on wheels. I've just been just been told that there are three Muse family members on uh, Team USA. Who is it? One, one, two brothers. Two, two, brothers. Playing, two brothers are playing, and one of the coaches. Oh, yeah. oh and we have the uh, uh, father and son on Team Canada. Yes, we do. It's a big, big family up there. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the beauty of this sport, though. It doesn't matter what age you are. So yeah. fathers and sons can play. Mothers and daughters in women's. I'm sure that pops up. I'm sure that pops up in one. And then we have the um, uh, Kamikal's sister is yeah, playing on uh, Team England as well, I think. Yeah, Kamikal's sister, Juicy Lucy, is playing for the women's Team England. Yeah. Kamikal's one of my favourite players. I, lo I, 
I love playing on track against him. Or sometimes I've managed to, you know, I've been in games, mixed games where I've played on yeah. track alongside him. He's a lovely, lovely yeah. track. He's having a really good tournament so far. Yeah. So we're still trying to sort out the um, the injury that we had earlier. So we have about eight minutes left on the clock. Next up, it's uh, Japan versus Belgium, as we already said. Um, Belgium has had a pretty mixed tournament up to now. Yeah, they have. Had they had, they had uh, have had two games now. No, three. They had have had two matches. Just gonna have a look at the scores. Yeah, they played Canada, and they played Jap they going to play Japan and they played Scotland um, where they that was a really close game, that was against, close game. Sco uh, against Scotland which was finished on 82-98 that is close to Scotland 16 points so Belgium lost both of the games as well but uh, well we'll see what's coming for uh, Japan yeah we'll see what's coming the, the thing I loved about watching Japan is after watching the first game and then watching watching their second game you can see they've They've gotten better. Yes. They've gotten tighter. They've improved within hours. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this this is the thing about this sport. It, all all the experience. Yeah. You, you you can learn so much at training. You can learn so much from watching. But actually, getting on track and playing the game is where you really start building building teamwork, building building walls. Jammers start building relationships with their blockers and looking for the the ways through the pack. And the next, the, um, the next game is going to be over on the other track, on the Quad Skate Shop track. Yep. And Quad Skate Shop is one of the main sponsors here at the Men's Roller Derby World, Champion, uh, World Championships. World Cup, sorry. Europe's original bricks and mortar roller derby equipment supplier, Quad Roller Skate Shop has the best selection and the most stock of any store on the continent. With excellent consultation services, only a fellow skater could provide. We've got all your needs covered. We, we love this love game. This game. Yeah. And they have a really like a really lovely dog that yes, lives in the shop. Baron. Yeah. Baron is such a cutie, but he's, he's such a derby whore. Yeah. He really he, he'll go to anyone. Yes. As long as you as you pat him, he's, yeah. he's as fine long with as, as long as you you rub behind his ear, yeah. <laughs> he is a lovely, lovely dog. It's a really nice shop as well. Yes. I managed to go and visit that um, when I was over for Track Queens. That was uh, uh, that has been about one and a half years by now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was quite a while ago. They were, that was when they were really, really new. Yeah. And uh, they have a cat from time to time as well. Ah. That that one is uh, running around and coming by as it pleases. So this clock's still ticking down, and we've just got five minutes twenty remaining on the period clock. Um, it's obviously something quite serious with the down skater. So if you've enjoyed listening to the live feed today, then uh, drop us a few quid uh, using the link on the broadcast page. Um, the split is going to be 50-50 between us, which is the uh, MRDWC and the uh, team's travel funds. Yeah, because um, all, all, the, all the donations really do help. I mean, it, it takes a lot of organization, a lot of input, a lot of financial input 
to get an event like this yes. to happen. I mean, I know I know how much goes in, has gone into the Men's European Championships and to several other um, international tournaments, both in men's and women's. And this is probably the biggest the biggest production I've been to and been involved in. Um, if you just look at how many how many people are here to be part of this and to to help out, I mean we have uh, officials and volunteers from 17 nations. You got to imagine that. With team for, teams from 15 nations and volunteers from 17 nations to be part of this to help out to to be here. Um, everyone traveling on their own. Yeah, the furthest team to come was. Australia have come over 10,000 miles. 17,000 kilometers yeah. all around the globe just to be yeah. here. And 86% of the way around the globe. So they have, <laughs> they have certainly come a hell of a long way. <laughs> it was quite nice for me to see one of the, one of the players from um, that's on Team Australia, um, Flaming Galar, who used to be part of SDRD. So um, it's nice to see him back in the UK. As near it is, Southern Discomfort, Yeah, right? Southern Discomfort. The original team I was with. Oh, really? Before I moved. Oh, where you was one of, the, one of the first first people to be part of SDRD. That's cool. Um, and then I moved and started Linkshire Rolling Thunder with my friend, who are now... I think we're now... We're ranked fourth now in Europe. Not too bad. I think we're doing quite good. Not too bad. Um... Not sure if this game is going to get back underway. It's a shame, but obviously the the health and safety of the players takes priority over the actual playing of the games. Comes always first. And again, we can thank GBEMS for being amazing at what they do. Still have a skater being seen too on track by GBMS. We're not quite sure who who it was that went down, but obviously this game, the clock is now run down to just over a minute. Not sure this game is going to get back underway. Oh. There would only be time for one part of a jam. Yeah, there would be one minute left on the clock. Yeah, because it, it, in these 30-minute jams, 30-minute uh, games, even in the last jam when the clock runs down, the game stops even if it's halfway through a jam. Yeah. So as uh, far as I can see, the other track is already lined up for the equipment check. Where we'll have, uh, as we already said, Belgium... Uh, against Japan. And of course, we'll keep you posted. Um, yeah, the, we can, as you can see, the clock's ticking down. Yeah. When that clock ticks down, this game will officially be over. And, I mean, Ireland are going to take the win over Germany. It's a shame we didn't get to see this game back underway. That's right. But... So, this game was brought to you by Roller Derby City, Europe's largest supplier of Roller Derby Kit and Merch. And now we're going over to the other track now. With a final score of 22 to 62 for Team Ireland. 